Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, I, I get to share with you from Psalm 139, which is one of the first Psalms that really captured my attention and captured my heart. So I just want to walk through it and kind of share with you some of the thoughts that uh, should grab you and should, I hope, provoke you to read it and meditate on this Psalm even more. Uh, it's just a beautiful psalm full of incredible promises and difficult challenges, really. So uh, just listen to verses 1 through 6 because it, it paints a picture of how intimately God knows you and knows me. The psalmist says, O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it all together. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. I, I, look, I could preach a sermon right now on, on this passage about God knows you, he loves you. He is for you. He believes in you. He, he knows even what you're thinking, and he even knows what you're going to say before you say it. He knows you. And not only does he know you, but God is with you. Listen to this. He, he continues on, verse 7. Where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, literally in hell, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me and the light about me be night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is bright as the day, for darkness is as light with you. So, so God knows you and God is with you everywhere you go. You can't get away from him. Some of you have been running from God for a while. It doesn't work. He's still there. Just come home. And then he goes on to say, God, you know me, you're with me, and you made me. Verse 13, for you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written every one of them, the days that were formed for me when as yet there was none of them. God made you and he made you wonderful and he thinks you're delightful and he thinks really that you're his masterpiece. Some of us need to hear that because we don't feel like we're worth much. But to God, you are worthless. You're not worthless. Sorry, I said that wrong. To God, you're priceless. You're so valuable. You're so wanted. You're so wonderful that he sent Jesus to suffer and die for you. And, and even when we make verbal mistakes, like I just did, he still gives us grace because he loves us and he formed us. And, and then, not only did he form us, but God thinks about us. Verse 17, how precious to me are your thoughts, O God. How vast is the sum of them. If I would, I would, would count them. They are more than the sand. I awake and I am still with you. See, you're on God's mind. I mean, not only does, does he know you and he's with you and he formed you, but he thinks about you. I, that, that is amazing to me. Out of all the billions of people in this world, God is thinking about you. And he's thinking about me and he's thinking about them too uh, because he values us so much. And then I want to close with verses 23 and 24, which is an invitation to God to inspect us. He simply says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any grievous way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. He says, God, I invite you to reveal sin to me so that I can confess that sin, so that I can be forgiven of that sin, and then I can follow your lead. So I hope you fall in love with Psalm 139 like I have. And I hope you will take heart and be encouraged by the fact that God knows you, that God is with you, that God made you, that God is thinking about you, 
And God will inspect you if you invite him to. And he'll reveal to you how he sees you. And, and that's a wonderful and terrible and graceful thing to do if you're seeking God. I hope that blesses you today, Calvary. Have a wonderful day.